about to do my long run for the week, a 10k. Uh, my cousin should be here soon. I will be testing out my new Saucony Endorphin Pro 3s that I plan on running in for my upcoming half marathon that I did register for on Friday. It's kind of a shame that I'm not wearing my cloud surfers because they're kind of perfect for my outfit today. I need to get some runs in in these and make sure that they're gonna work so you definitely don't want to have your first run in a new pair of shoes be a half marathon. Excited about today's run and the weather is beautiful. It's Easter today. It's my Sunday long run and it's 66 degrees. A little bit windy but I'm sure that's going to feel a lot better than no wind at all later as we get into this run. finished a 10k in one hour and 11 minutes so we did do a little bit of walking it was kind of tough there near the end of course i forgot my water bottle again so maybe one day i'll learn my lesson but overall it was a good run pretty good time for having walked some of it enjoyed running in my endorphin pro threes they did really well really felt cushy throughout the whole run it was like the longer i ran the better they felt so i'm really looking forward to running that half marathon in them about to go do some intervals i try last week's plan again uh, this week it's currently 67 but with that sun it feels a lot warmer than that so we'll see how it goes I'm gonna get out there and get it done was thinking about skipping it and going out and seeing family who i haven't seen in a while and eating some pizza but i'm gonna be good i'm gonna stick to the plan and yeah get these intervals done. All right, so this week's intervals were the same as last week, except the only difference being I completed these. So I'm pretty freaking proud of myself for finishing. I wanted to quit after the first set, but I did six sets of five minutes. First, I ran a 1K, so 0.62 miles. At first, I was starting out way too fast. I looked at my watch and it was like nine and a half minute estimated mile, which is way too fast for an easy paced 1K. So I had to slow it down. I think going out too fast is what kind of got me on that first interval, but halfway through through, I started feeling that twinge in my hamstring again, but it was like, you know what? I'm gonna finish this thing. And I pushed through and I finished it out. Pretty warm and muggy evening. There are like bugs everywhere. They're getting all over me, uh, kind of running through bugs and they're sticking to me. It's disgusting. I ate at least, I don't know, five or six bugs, but hey, that's part of running outdoors. So I'd much rather be inadvertently eating bugs than running on a treadmill. So I'll take it any day, but yeah, proud of myself for Getting out here by myself and running these intervals, it's easy for me to quit when I'm out here alone, but I did it, pushed through, and finished it up with another 1K. So that last 1K ended up being at a 10.54 pace, which is still pretty fast, but I felt like, I don't know, it was weird. I felt like after those intervals that I still had some energy in me and that I still wanted to run fast. So I know it makes you run faster, but I was surprised that I still had some gas in the tank. All right, getting set to run another 10K in my Endorphin Pro 3s. And that was a tough run, as you can tell by my cheeks, so... It felt like it was, I don't know, 100 degrees out, but I guess it was 79. The sun was pretty blazing hot. About halfway through, I started feeling really tired, like I just hit the wall. And I know I didn't eat good today. I need to start eating better in the next couple of weeks before this half marathon. And in the meantime, I drank a lot more water, keep doing my yoga. Tomorrow's strength and conditioning. So today, my 10K was just 40 seconds slower than my all-time PB, which was set at that race a couple of weeks ago. My legs felt heavy. I think the difference was my Endorphin Pro 3s that I ran in. Even on a day where I don't feel my best, this kind of gives you that energy return and pulls you through. Running Friday and then a rest day Saturday. I'm about to run an 8K. Uh, sun's starting to come out. I hear the birds chirping. I'm about to try this uh, Cliff Shot Energy Gel. So it says to take it 15 minutes before a workout, which should be about now. So it's not the prettiest looking 
thing, but let's try it. Mm. Kind of thick. Almost like a pudding. It has like a chocolatey aftertaste to it. All right, so we'll see if this helps because I'm not really feeling like running today, but I know I need to get it done. That went well. I do not recommend that gel. I mean, my stomach was okay, but it was like mile three into that run. My stomach was like, okay, never again. So for me personally, that did not work. I mean, I did have some energy. I did run a 10 minute 30 second mile for my last mile so mile five so that was great but and that's kind of fast for me i mean i'm an amateur runner still getting into this thing you know 10 30 on mile five was pretty good so it did work to give me some energy but no nah, my tum just wasn't feeling it so anyways that's it for training this week as always if you found anything useful interesting entertaining please subscribe hit that like button and yeah continue with me on this journey and we can all get better thanks for watching